Okay, so um, I've been home for a little bit. I am currently in the process of trying to get my YouTube video for the, for the day uploaded. I was trying to find the perfect sound to use to record a TikTok. Mr. has the zoomies. <laughs> he just ran by. And so now the only thing left for me to do is to get some writing done. So I did some writing while I was at work today. Um, I couldn't really film it because I was writing on my phone. So I can't film on my phone and write on my phone at the same time. So I did get some writing done on my phone. Um, I think when I checked it, it was like 550 words that I wrote. So I'm just gonna sit here and pick up where I left off. Um, maybe I can get a little more than um, one chapter today since I did get some writing done um, at work, but we'll see what happens. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I will update you guys later. Um, I forgot to say, as I'm like pulling up stuff, I am so mad. I just, I finished a book a couple hours ago and I'm just so mad because <laughs> this book started out so strong for me. And then by the end, I had to give it two stars. Like, I'm not gonna tell you what the name of the book is because we're not gonna like bash authors and stuff like that. But I have a favorite trope that I like with romances. Um, and I also am the type of person I don't like love at first sight stories unless there is a reason for the love at first sight. Like if I'm reading a shifter romance and it's about fated mates, um, finding your fated mate, I can go along with the love at first sight because that's the whole point of a fated mate. It's your soul mate. So I can get behind that. So the story started out with these two people discovering that they're fated mates. And of course, things can't be easy, which is perfect for me. Um, I don't like easy. Give, give them some drama and make me have to work for this relationship and I am all in. But it didn't end with the two people being together. And then I could see about, I want to say it was about 60% through the book that they weren't going to end up together and then they were going to put the two of them with other people but it didn't really give them enough time to really establish those relationships with those other people it was just suddenly like i can't be with my fated mate and this other person is in my proximity and then two seconds later they're like i love you and i'm like huh <laughs> like, it basically was a love at first sight like there was nothing about any of these characters with the person that they ended up with by the end of the book that made me go oh yeah i can see it i can feel it i get why they felt like nothing about it nothing like the one female character the main female character i could kind of see why she latched onto the guy being that she and i was trying to justify it in my head <laughs> totally trying to justify it in my head i'm like well she spent her life abused and then you know her dad left her and nobody cared for her and her mate like you know kind of was hiding her and act like he was ashamed and didn't want to claim her and then she met this guy that was just like um i'll protect you so i guess in my mind i was kind of like i guess i can see her falling for him i guess <laughs> if i think about it that way her reasons for falling for the guy made sense but the guy that she fell for, his reasons for becoming obsessed with her and falling for her did not make any sense. And then her fated mate was coming back to claim her and he was with her best friend. And then nothing between him and the best friend was ever like, I could see them two being together. And somehow it was like written in like, oh, the way they look at each other. And I'm like, what do you mean the way they look at each Y'all, it was such an unsatisfying read and I knew that it was going to be unsatisfying about 60% in. And I'm going to be honest, that book had probably been sitting there half read for at least two weeks, at least two weeks, maybe even longer. I would start it and I would read a chapter, get upset, <laughs> and then put it down and not want to read anymore. So... <laughs> 
I, I wanted to bring that up because I was just thinking about it because I was checking um, my Goodreads right now. Uh, I was checking to see, I had started a couple books and so I was coming on here to check to see what was going to be like, oh, the next book that I was going to go back to and finish reading. Also, I like to see what recommendations they give me on the side and I like to add those. So I wanted to come back on here to, because I remembered about that whole like r romance that I just read this morning that I finally finished. I'm like, I just, I don't like DNFing books unless I absolutely positively cannot get through it. And I think I probably, I have a list on here. Let me see. One, I have one book on here. There might be others, but I have one book on here that I know for a fact I will not ever go back to read. And that's how bad I found it. So I'm, I'm again, not going to tell you what that is. But I have one book on my DNF list. Um, but other than that, like I really do try to finish a book. Um, and I hate rating books low, but this one had to get two stars because I was just so upset. Also, um, the 2024, yeah, 2024 reading challenge is almost up. We are in December, December 3rd. So we're getting there. It's almost done. Um, and I was looking at my challenge and I'm doing really good because the last couple of years I have not been doing good with the challenge. Um, let me see. Well, last year I did really good. I didn't realize that because 20, so this is where it was bad. 2022, I put that I wanted to read 48 books and I read zero. <laughs> um, for 2021, I also had 48 books. I read six, 48 books for 2020 and I read, read 32. 48 for 2019 I read 25 like it was every year I kept putting 48 because I'm like why am I not reading these books so for 2023 I put that I wanted to read five I was like I'm just gonna do a low goal because the previous year I didn't read a single book so I'm like I'm just gonna do a low goal um to see and I read 28 books last year so that was really good. So this year, instead of trying to like overdo it with the goal, I just doubled last year's goal and put 10 books. I'm doing good because so far I have read 52 books. <laughs> I read 52 books this year. So <laughs> that is um, really, really good. Really good. I'm very, um, I'm very proud of myself. But yeah, so that's how things are going on the reading front for me. <laughs> Gotta be honest, that's how things are going on the reading front. But anyways, I just wanted to bring that up because I have pulled up my Goodreads. Um, and now I'm going to get out of my Goodreads. And I am going to open Google so that I can get some writing done. Um, thank you. Thank you. Good boy. Yeah, you know you're not supposed to be up there. That's just crazy. What if you knocked it over? That wouldn't have been good. No, you're blocking the camera. You're blocking the camera. Look, look at the camera. No, okay, on the shoulder. <laughs> just like in the video that you guys gonna watch the, yesterday, he when he got on my um, shoulder after I put my stuff away, did the same thing today. I was like, oh, okay, it's one of those days. On um, my shoulder. Okay, anyways, to writing. <clears throat> All right, so chapter 21 is done. It's a little so slow going there. Um, it's only 727, but I think I'm going to call it since I wasn't really focused on writing that chapter. I kind of was in and out. I would write a little bit, then I would do other stuff. So I wasn't completely focused on it. And I think, I think I'm going to step away from it. So yeah, got that done. And now I am going to um, relax. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to watch um, some Hulu. And I'm going to relax for the rest of the night. And I've got my baby here. He wanted to cuddle with mommy, but that's it. That's all I've got for you guys for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you are not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Leave me a comment below and uh, like this video if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.